Hi friends, welcome back to Amazing Men's World. In this video, I have come up with drafting pattern of this lee. Previously, I have shown the complete body sloper marking with the measurements. The same measurements I'll be using for this to draft the sleeve pattern. Recently got the request to show this sleeve pattern drafting. After watching this video, you would be confidently knowing the complete draft pattern of this sleeve. So I'm taking this chart, fold it into two layers. The folded side should be on the top of the sleeve. And towards this left side leave a little space for the margin and right side is the sleeve open or the wrist length or elbow length or the short sleeve length for this drafting you would require two main things the full chest length that means the circumference of the chest length and one standard formula which is chest length divided by 12 add half an inch this is the formula to calculate the upper part or the biceps in the arm which is most required to draft the sleeve pattern and for this i would be taking the chest length of 38 inches whatever is your chest length you divide that by 12 Ensure you take the same measurements of the chest length which you took for the body sloper or for the marking your measurements. So here it's 38 divided by 12 is 3.16 inches plus I'll be adding half an inch so it will become 3.66 inches which is my biceps length. So following this technique for any size you can draft the sleeve pattern using the simple calculation to draft the normal sleeve pattern this is the standard formula for calculating the sleeve now i'll be showing the construction or the draft on the chart supposing this is the fabric fold it into two that means into four layers the fold should be on the top and give the margin line and from this line on the folded side mark the biceps length of 3.66 inches which I've calculated and on this line mark half of your armhole length measurements my full arm round length is 13 inches so half of that is six and a half inches mark the six and a half inches and also add the ease length normally i'll take one inch so that one inch i'll be adding here this how much ease you will add towards the armpit or the sides that length you have to add here so on this line you have to take your half of your armhole length measurements from this point connect to the margin line diagonally And also on this diagonal line mark the midpoint this is around 8.2 inches so the midpoint of this is 4.1 inches mark the 4.1 inch and on this point mark half an inch away to draft the back sleeve pattern now from the top to this point connect through the curved line using the french ruler or else you can draw it free handedly so now i've joined the curved line from this point to down connect with the straight line Now 
this is the back sleeve pattern draft now I'll be showing how to draft the front sleeve pattern from that on the slanting line which we mark the midpoint mark it curved line like this and from the midpoint inversely place the curve from the midpoint to the down connect with the curved line it is something like S in shape and this would be the front sleeve draft pattern and from here you can give the sleeve open till the wrist length elbow length or the short sleeve depends upon the length how much you require the sleeve this I'd be marking for the long sleeve which is of wrist length of 21 inches using this simple technique you can draft for the short sleeve elbow sleeve wrist length or the chudi sleeve which is used for designing of blouses jackets dresses frocks now using the hip curve connect sleeve down part that means armpit to the wrist length So this is the way we'll draft the pattern and now I'll show you how to cut this the front and the back sleeve always you have to mark on the two folds four layers Firstly, I would cut on the back sleeve pattern. And the required sleeve length. So now I'm done with the cutting of the back sleeve. Now keep away the back side and hold the front sleeve like this and cut only the front sleeve pattern. Now you can see here the underneath is the back sleeve and on the top this one is the front sleeve pattern using the simple formula and knowing how to draft the pattern using the measurements you can create any designer sleeves using this pattern for any ages so try this learn it and share it having any doubts please do write to me in the comment section just below the description box hope this video is useful to you do like in your community or circles may be useful to them subscribe to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends thanks for watching bye for now